A year ago, renowned physicist and science communicator Michio Kaku shared his thoughts on a mysterious discovery. Six primordial galaxies detected by the James Webb Space Telescope. He explained that it takes billions of years for a galaxy like the Milky Way, with its 100 billion stars, to take shape. Yet, Webb has identified six massive galaxies that existed just 500 million years after the Big Bang, as some of them appear to be 10 times larger than our Milky Way. That shouldn't be possible. Galaxies that big, forming so early in cosmic history, directly challenge our current understanding of how the universe evolved. Something, it seems, doesn't add up. Kaku warned that we might have to rethink our theory of the universe's creation. And as new web observations continue to arrive, his words are beginning to sound prophetic. Early this year, Webb discovered a galaxy named Glass Z13, which formed just 290 million years after the Big Bang, and another, Glass Z11, dating back about 500 million years after. According to standard cosmological models, the first billion years after the Big Bang should have been a period of chaotic growth, a cosmic construction zone, where galaxies slowly took shape under the pull of gravity. But Wedd's discoveries are rewriting that picture entirely. Recently, astronomers detected three enormous galaxies in this early era, so large and bright that they've been nicknamed Red Monsters. An international team led by the University of Geneva uncovered these colossal structures, each nearly as massive as the Milky Way, already fully formed within the first billion years of cosmic history. Using Webb's Frisco program and its powerful NIRCAM GRISM spectrograph, scientists were able to measure their distances and stellar masses with unprecedented precision. Their findings, published in Nature, reveal that star formation in the early universe was far more efficient than our models predict. According to current theory, galaxies grow slowly inside dark matter halos, where only a fraction of their gas, around 20% or less, turns into stars. But these new results suggest something very different. It appears that massive galaxies in the early universe were forming stars at incredible rates, far faster than expected. And then came the real surprise. Three galaxies so massive, their stellar content rivals that of the Milky Way today. They were forming stars at nearly double the efficiency of smaller galaxies, glowing in a deep red hue caused by thick clouds of cosmic dust. Because of this striking appearance, astronomers began calling them the Red Monsters. These findings are reshaping how we understand galaxy formation, said Dr. Hiao, lead author of the study. Dr. David Elbaz added that these massive systems were nearly invisible before JWST, hidden behind dense dust clouds. While the discoveries still fit within the broader cosmological framework, they raised difficult questions. How could so many massive galaxies exist so soon after the Big Bang? To explain them, Scientists might need to rethink how early galaxies formed stars, or even introduce new mechanisms that allowed such rapid growth. As Dr. Erica Nelson put it, it's like coming home to check on your kitten and finding a full-grown cougar sitting on your couch. Dr. Erica Nelson, who helped identify several of the red monsters in a 2023 study, says new observations confirm that these galaxies are indeed as massive and as ancient as they appear. Somehow they managed to turn almost all of their gas into stars within just a few hundred million years, the blink of a cosmic eye. Future observations both with the James Webb Space Telescope and the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, or ALMA, will dig even deeper into these ultramassive red galaxies and possibly uncover more of these early cosmic giants. And speaking of ALMA, it has revealed another remarkable discovery from the dawn of the universe, something astronomers are calling an impossible galaxy. Meet Rebels 25, a galaxy that has completely rewritten what scientists thought they knew about the early cosmos. This galaxy formed just 700 million years after the Big Bang, yet it looks strikingly similar to our Milky Way. 
It's a massive, disc-shaped galaxy with clear hints of spiral arms and even a central bar, features that shouldn't exist so early in the universe's history. The discovery left astronomers puzzled. How could a galaxy this organized appear when the cosmos was still so young and chaotic? Further studies using ALMA confirmed that Rebels 25 not only has a rotating disk, but may also contain the early structures of spiral arms and a central elongated bar, traits usually seen in far older, mature galaxies. This has led scientists to a surprising conclusion. Galaxies may have formed and evolved much faster than our theories suggest. The discovery of Rebels 25 is forcing a major rethink of how galaxies took shape in the first billion years after the Big Bang. But the surprises didn't stop there. In October 2023 and January 2024, the James Webb Telescope uncovered even more massive galaxies from the very beginning of time, findings that could reshape modern astronomy as we know it. According to the standard model, the first stars and galaxies appeared around 200 to 500 million years after the Big Bang, clustering along filaments of dark matter. These early galaxies were thought to be small, growing slowly over billions of years through mergers and the accumulation of gas. By comparison, a galaxy like our Milky Way would have taken one to two billion years to reach maturity. Yet in 2022, researchers from the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, or CIRRUS, used Webb's instruments to peer into the earliest eras after the cosmic dark ages, and what they found was astonishing. Instead of a chaotic, galaxy-poor early universe, Webb revealed many more galaxies than predicted, and they appeared bigger and brighter than models allowed. That wasn't supposed to happen. Our best cosmological theories suggest such galaxies shouldn't exist that early or look the way they do. But then, in 2023, Webb dropped another revelation. It detected massive disk galaxies, fully formed and structured, existing between 400 and 600 million years after the Big Bang, contradicting nearly 99% of theoretical predictions. Earlier data from the Hubble telescope suggested that disk galaxies like these didn't appear until the universe was about 6 billion years old. Webb's data has now pushed that timeline almost back to the beginning of everything. Scientists have proposed several explanations, perhaps the early formation of supermassive black holes, effects from frequent supernova explosions, or even dark energy, but so far no one has found a definitive answer. And just when researchers thought the surprises had ended, another groundbreaking discovery appeared. Early in 2023, the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, known as JADES, identified a remarkably ancient galaxy named JADES GS Z14, along with a fainter companion, JADES GS Z14-1. By October 2023, the JADES team carried out an even deeper 75-hour observation campaign using spectroscopy, confirming that JADES GS Z14 was a record-breaking galaxy formed just 290 million years after the Big Bang. What's even more surprising is that the stars within it seem to be about 90 million years older, suggesting they formed only 200 million years after the universe began. The galaxy's intense brightness doesn't come from a black hole, as scientists first suspected, but from a halo of young, hot stars rapidly forming around its core. These bursts of new stars appear to have been happening since roughly 200 million years after the universe began. Even more astonishing are the galaxy's unexpectedly high levels of dust and oxygen, which indicate a long cycle of starbirth and death far more advanced than scientists imagined for such an early time. But Jade's GS Z14 may not hold the record for long. Astronomers now believe there could be even older galaxies waiting to be found. These discoveries are forcing us to confront deep questions about cosmic history. Did stars and galaxies in the early universe form faster than we thought possible? Could their chemistry, energy, and light behave differently than the galaxies we see today? And how will these revelations reshape our most advanced models of galaxy evolution? Did stars and galaxies in the early universe behave differently from the ones we see today? 
could stars have formed much faster back then? And is it possible that the light from these ancient objects looked different because the universe had a different chemical makeup? A team of astronomers set out to answer these questions by studying three massive galaxies from the early universe, now known as the Little Red Dots. These galaxies formed around 700 million years after the Big Bang, but what scientists found was shocking. The light coming from these galaxies suggested that their stars were already hundreds of millions of years old, much older than expected for that time. Even more surprising were signs of supermassive black holes near these red dots, black holes thousands of times larger than the one at the center of our own Milky Way. Detailed analysis confirmed that these galaxies come from the very dawn of time. Their bright light is powered by both enormous black holes and unexpectedly old stars. This means one of two things. Either these galaxies are far older and more massive than our models predict, or they have normal mass but contain unusually large black holes. What also makes them stand out is their compact size. Even though they hold nearly as many stars as the Milky Way, they are much smaller. To visualize this, if the Milky Way were shrunk down to the size of one of these red dot galaxies, the nearest star to our sun, Proxima Centauri, would be sitting inside our solar system. And the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, Sagittarius A star, would be close enough to see in the night sky. It's very confusing, said astrophysicist Joel Lager from Penn State. We can only make this fit within our current models if we imagine some extremely fast, exotic formation at the very beginning of time. While the standard model of cosmology explains most of what we know, these mysterious red dots don't quite fit the pattern. The team now plans to continue studying them using the James Webb Space Telescope to understand what makes them so unusual. Through programs like the JWST Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, we may soon uncover more secrets from the first galaxies and rewrite what we know about how the universe began.